Hello YouTubers. This is a foolproof way of doing regular maintenance, changing your timing belt. Usually at 100,000, most people let it go longer than that, but um, this here is a uh, 2000 contour and it is a pain in the ass if you don't do it the way I do it um, because it takes special tools you got to take the valve cover off to line up the cams and so on and so on if you don't believe me Google change timing belt 2000 contour 2.0 it's a nightmare but anyway the way I do it is before I even take the belt off I mark um, the timing belt and the cam and this way, the way you do it this way is you don't even have to line up top dead center. Uh, but it's easier if you do top dead center because it keeps the cams from spinning on you when you take uh, when you when you take the belt off. But anyway, this here is the mark for the left cam. And what I do with that is I put an L on there so I know that's the left cam sprocket. And then over here. Uh, I'm in the process of putting this on right now, but I, I have to get a uh, tensioner. And here is the mark for the R. Now, if you notice, I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but I actually put it on top of the gear, on top of the tooth, which would be in the middle of the teeth between the belt, if you understand what I mean. Um, I'll give you an example. Here's another belt. And if you look at it, the, come on, focus, bad boy. You notice the mark is in between the teeth, not on the teeth. And the reason for that is because you can get more paint. Oh, that's another thing. Use white paint. Don't use anything that's going to rub off. Because uh, if it rubs off on you, you're going to be messed up. So even if you have to get a spray can, spray it into the lid of the can and use a uh, Q-tip or something to mark it, mark it with paint and let it dry before you even take the belt off because you don't want those marks to disappear. So what you do is left cam, mark it, right cam, mark it, and of course down the bottom you mark it um, on the belt and the crankshaft sprocket. Foolproof way to do it. Oh, little uh, tip also. When you take your belt off, after you mark it, count all your teeth. Um, had an incident with a uh, Hyundai. Um, the belt that came off was 112 tooth, and the belt that I got was 113, or vice versa. I don't remember, but yeah, it must have been the other way around because it was real tight when I was trying to put it on. I'm like, what the heck? So then I counted the teeth, and and it was off by one. So count the teeth on your old belt, and count the teeth on your new belt. Now. To get these marks when you take your old belt off after you've already marked it up all you do is count your teeth go from your left side sprocket actually you would start at your right side sprocket go from your right spot right side sprocket to your left side sprocket and count the teeth in this case it would be in between the belt not the actual teeth themselves but the in between that's where you marked it okay and do it two or three times so you don't mess it up and then go to your new belt that you're going to put on which in this case I have my new belt over here but anyway on your new belt mark here mark here sorry and then count however any any teeth it is to the next one and put your mark check and double check it and then count from your left sprocket down to your crank sprocket and this is a foolproof way because if the belt is stretched it doesn't matter you're counting teeth and it's always going to line up so have any questions or comments put it in there um, this is the way to do the VVT gears because the gear can actually move on you uh, internally around the cam if it doesn't lock when it shuts off so you can get into a real nightmare and you can destroy your motor so this is the way I've been doing it for years I thought I'd put it on YouTube and help some people out because I know they get frustrated with mechanics charging so much money um, this job here is a $750 job um, on the low end probably and probably 900 on the high end because it requires special tools so um, hope this helps you and like I said if you uh, have any questions comments leave them below and I hope this really helps you out